plot twist after plot twist. And now I think that we finally have some answers that maybe... Now it's heavily implied, 99.9999999% implied that Masha is the girl. On top of that playground thing that Asasuka used to go and hang out with that, that learned Russian to go talk to. You know that blonde long haired girl that also had Arya's eyeball, you know, look intense? It should be Masha. And we even see the pendant with Sakun. Because Masachka, Sakun, you know? And you, and you don't really see Masachka's face, but you see the facial structure which looks like him with light kind of covering it. But like, knowing this kind of anime, knowing the plot twist it's pulled off, don't you think that they could pull off some bullshit where it's just like, Sakun actually is someone completely different that resembles Masachika from the past and also happened to learn Russian. Like, they really could, man. You really never know until the anime directly confirms, right? This is still an implication, a heavily implied one. That seems really likely, but like, they really could hit us with some bullshit and be like, psych, something totally different was happening. Um, aside from Masatsuka backstory, sorry, Masha backstory, there's Masatsuka backstory, there's like a divorce happening. You know, Yuki decided to stay with like dad and mom, and I forget exactly the pairing. Yuki was really sick in the past. And other than that, we need more data. We need more information to really confirm all the different identities and stuff like that. But hey, let's begin today's reaction. Arya Nyan. と、なんかすごいの持ってる。ああ、いいやんにゃん。可愛いでしょ。まあ、置いていい。そう、キュートよ。いや。それは遠慮してくれ。おいや、ウェイ。ウィガット。プラッシュフォープレスティル、ライ
But it's that one flashback moment where that girl in the glasses with black hair was crying that he felt bad for, right? If when competition, whenever there's a winner, there's a loser. At least the way that I interpreted that scene, if she indeed did lose because of, you know, Kuze, then he just doesn't want other people feeling bad because of his success. I'm not really sure. That's kind of interesting psyche going on there. But with, like, even this press, too, like, damn. This dude was already a Giga Chef in the beginning, but he's like, nah, I was fat, I was ugly, I was unathletic. So I decided to lock in, hit the gym, and now it's his girlfriend, right? It is confirmed, right? Vice Prez and Prez, they are dating, right? He said it's your girlfriend, so he accomplishes goals, bro. There it is, the backstory again. That girl. Yeah, so now it's confirmed that the girl with black hair and glasses was not Yuki. I was like, maybe potentially it could have been her a long time ago, but no, it's, it's a totally separate girl, and we won and she lost. ほかの誰かを会長にするためにあるよ。多いの歓迎する。誰にも文句は言わせん。あす。おお、じっくり考えろ。悩むのは若者の特権だからな。You're <笑> <おー>、<笑><笑> A 17-year-old calling like a 16-year-old. Oh, you're such a baby, bro. You're so young. Or like a fucking 18-year-old calling like a 20-year-old a boomer, bro. It's like, are you you're literally the same generation, you idiots. Aria. Oh, a dispute. あ、どちらも譲らないみたいなんだ。Sounds like the baseball team's fucking goaded and they're on their way to like the Koshian. But like the soccer team, just a bunch of losers that just happen to qualify for regionals. So if you think about it from a very objective way of thinking who's gonna be more useful in getting our school like attention out, probably should be for a baseball team. But that's kind of mean, right? There's gotta be some kind of rotating schedule that we can incorporate both the baseball and soccer, but it does sound like the baseball should have priority. Wow, who's the baseball captain? Classic, very convenient, we'll never see Chisaki. She's on Kendo Club business. But like, is it the vice? Is, is it the maid girl that we saw in the flashback? Because the maid girl is an important girl in the poster, right? That we still haven't got an introduction yet. But like, they're, they're hiding her conveniently. Uh-oh, it's looking bad. Baseball t Oh, it's the Connieverse! Remember, they're all Connies. Con There's a, a slim Connie and like a wide Connie. Yeah, that's unfair, right? Like, straight up. We re rescheduled this months ago? Like, you can't just suddenly pull this shit up if we... Like, not only should the baseball team should have priority because they're just better... But they also scheduled this in advance? It just seems heavily siding with baseball team. And then, aren't we not? What do you mean? What's wrong? It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> Both captains are just like <laughs> be so cool right now. Say something, bro. Somo Somo. Aria has no aura. They don't respect her, huh? I thought that her being like, I don't know. Having a little bit of Russian blood would make her fucking be assertive and like handle business, but like they do not respect her. She's getting drowned out. In comes Masatsuka to clutch. Let's go. <laughs> Aria has no conqueror's hockey, dude. Bro, she has no presence. Where's the aura? Bro, come on. Oh. Wait, this is kind of important, right? This is kind of important for her character development. We're going to get backstory, but what did she say here? I really don't have what it takes to influence people. And this is clearly an insecurity from the past. And now, flashback time. 
Oh no, she's going back to her old ways. Horikita Suzune mindset. No, don't be like Suzune. You need to listen to Masachika Koji, bro. Come on. They got it. They're tools. Use them like the tools they are. So, I kind of feel bad. Like, I feel bad that Arya is crying right now, too. But it also kind of sucks that she's now a character that Masatsuka just needs to help. And yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, right? Like, I don't know. I, part of me is like, damsel in distress is like kind of boring. And I wanted her to just be a fucking girl boss and just fucking unleash her rushing conqueror's hockey and just like let him know how it's fucking done. And then Masatsuka's gonna be like, whoa, she's so cool, but. Looks like who's is gonna have to step in. Written Russian! Yeah. Oh, the hero appears. Now, what do you think is the likelihood that he actually heard the Russian, right? If she, he kind of like whispered it. But like, do you think that he actually heard it? And the, the, the timing is obviously meant for him to come in, but like, I don't know. You guys think that she actually, he actually did. So you tell me that he knew fully aware that Arya was in deep shit, that she was almost crying. But he's like, nope, nope. Bitch better fucking ask for help in Russian or I'm not showing up. <laughs> like he was like, <laughs> and then she said it, he's like, all right, I'm in. Oh, general affairs. A little bit of rewinding time, I think, of Kuze showing up here. Really? Ayana Koji esque. Watching K get bullied. Nah. Wait. She needs to learn. Nah, let her let him cook. She needs to learn right now. This is a life. It's an important fucking experience. But I understand. Oh. <laughs> okay, did you see that Russian for sure? Right there? Listen. Uh. uh. Peak Russian, bro. Uh. <laughs> That's just a sound effect, motherfucker. The hero shows up. Oh, they know him like that. Yo, even the captain giving the respect. He opened his eyes. Holy shit, they know him. He got that middle school clout. Oh。その代わり、人数が多いサッカー部からその手伝い。俺らだけ河川敷に追いやられなきゃいけねえんだよ。もう、そうだ。そんなの揉めるわけねえ。Now the captain's going to clutch here. The captain respects Kuze. This is a decent compromise, right? Even the baseball team has to go away, but like the soccer team has to help them. So it's just like, you know, both sides kind of get cucked, but you know, he's still meet halfway. <laughs> manager clutch? Okay, okay, let's go managers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're dumbass, horny teenagers, right? It's just that easy, huh? It's, it's just that easy. They just start pulling. <laughs> okay, we're in. <laughs> oh, well, uh, the manager came to help us. They did. 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 They 
As much as Kuze went in and created a scenario where the manager then says something to sway the votes of the baseball members, the manager fucking clutched harder, bro. And the captains straight up didn't do shit. They were just sitting there the entire fucking night, right? So I, I give this like 60% uh, manager, 40% Kuze. And then Adia, well, she summoned them. <laughs> she summoned them. Look at that Riz. Sunset lighting. One on one scene. Sunset lighting, though, hold up. Uh? Because he knew that the manager would. Yeah, he knew. Like, he straight up looked at the manager girl and then she acted. Like, do they have some kind of past? Oh, you noticed your man was staring at another woman the entire time. Hmm, okay. Ano manager no senpai na yakubu no captain to tsukiya ってるんだ Plot twist. Ah, yakubu no hope to bijin manager no couple. Ano futari ga tsukiya ってる yakubu no captain. Oh, the reason he was being silent. Oh, that makes even more sense why he was not acting. Like, doing something. Some Masashika just needed to create a scenario where an excuse for her to reach out without her intentions, right? It's like Masashika said it, they offered it, and then the manager steps in without her having to initiate. Pretty smart plan. Okay. Three birds with one stone. <laughs> Damn. I saw, I saw two birds with one stone, but three because, again, they're helping out the baseball team and they're dating. Yo, this dude is literally Ayana Koji. Well, no, nah, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but... If, like, if Masatsuka was a character in the class in the elite, I would have confidence in him. Like, damn, he's pretty fucking smart. Oh, Hanashi is going to he knows that Arya wants to run for Prez. He knows that Arya wants, you know, Kusa to be, you know, helping her. He needs to give her a reason to like, you know, because like he clearly wants him in, right? Even the excuses was like, hey, if you want to help someone get to the student council, it just makes sense. The press planted the whole scenario for them to get closer and closer. Like, bro, <laughs> if Masashika Zayana Koji, what the fuck is press? It's Manabu! He got the glasses. It's the, the holy shit! It is him! It is him! Sho, Kuze Masachika, Seto Kai no Ichin Toste, Sonoma Seki Kuara Sete. There was a socket, Seto Kai Sini Kitemoro. Nanka Mamma to Nosera de Tamita de Shakuzen to Shinaiga. Korega Ningu no Sameto Kitoikara. Mata Asta, Seskini Shai, or officially in. Jikanga Reba. Oh, Dosa. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the declaration. I don't think that he's gonna side with Yuki. I think that he's gonna definitely support Aris, Aria, right? Like 100%. So there. そうか。なら、俺がお前を生徒会長にしてやる。これ以上一人にはしない。これからは。ああ、the button。黙ってこの手を取れ。Take it。Shut up and take my hand. Oh, Yuki is fucking so mad right now, bro. 
she's probably so fucking upset. Like, everything she's done to make Arya jealous and kind of make her think like, oh yeah, I know my big bro better than you, you know? It's like, I know him, it's like, I'm way closer, but now if he's gonna be helping her out... Ooh, I wonder how Yuki's gonna take this. Valuable, yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck is my subs this time?! That's valuable. Yeah. Am I not supposed to understand that? Maybe they intentionally skip the subs. To make us not understand what's happening. I could see something like that. And then? It must have been something so impactful. Like, almost like a declaration of love or something. Because the author, like, the anime studio is saying, like, nah, they're not translating this one. It's for you to kind of envision your own mind. Why would Masatsuka act like this upon hearing that? It must have been so fucking impactful. Well, yeah. Bro getting flashbacks. <laughs> Stop it! Again, let's look at her eyes. It's the same color. That's the thing that's still fucking me up, right? Because like, we're supposed to believe that it's Masha. And it's really, it is heavily implied that it's Masha. The only thing that it's going for Alia is simply the eye. But Masha's eye changed. And her hair also changes. Now, as you grow, apparently hair color, eye color, they can all fucking change. And all the facts that we have right now still suggest that it is Masha. I still am not going to completely believe it. Again, it's 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
ちょっとジンジンするくらいだよえっ I don't think that's the cheek that he got slapped on but like really? ほうけてるのよただを合わせるだけなんじゃあそうよいやでも今の感触まだ明日ウリミンウェッジおまた明日 And like European standards, right? It's like a very casual thing to do but for Kuzi like he probably thinks that it's like whoa right? Like again like in different cultures you know they have different ways of greetings and goodbyes to Arya that's probably like just chill but She's probably not even blushing, right? She probably thought that was just like super casual, but I've never seen her do it to Kuzi just yet. Un until today. Hmm. She's probably using this as an excuse to sneak in a kiss by saying it's a casual goodbye, but you know her other intentions. I'm gonna go with that one. Post credit scene, let's go! Oh yeah, we know. We know what kind of kiss that was in the cheek. It was not a goodbye cheek. He, she fucking, she snuck that one in. Oh, you straight up said I love you? Wow. Wow. She, okay, she, this, 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 she's not fucking around. She, she actually said that. Okay. You said it. Again, this should remind you of when Kei used to call, you know, Aino Koji and she would like swim her legs back and forth. It's so cunny, man. Denial. Uh -uh. What? Living up to his expectations, bro. Yeah, we gotta lock in. He would never say that. Such a sin today, bro. What's going on, girl? Nah, we're getting baited with the Arya Nyan, bro. Sakun, mention Sakun, man. Kind of. Hmm. Fuck off. Stop teasing me. Why are you doing this shit? That's a double clutch already. Come on. Just get on with it. Was Masha like, Alright, bitch. You not in love with them? Alright? I'm gonna take him then. You, you th what do you think happened in her head? She's like, Hmm. Really? You, you don't like him? Okay. He's free 10. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Nah, he knows. Masha knows. Are you threat? Is this a threat? Is she? Is she threat? No, I, I, I don't think Masha would ever do it. I think that she's just trying to do this to poke the bear and try to get the fucking bear to move. The bear in this situation is Arya, I guess, with the fucking, you know, the romance plot. I don't think Masha would ever. She's just trying to, you know, she's a catalyst right now to the plot. <laughs> Again. 17-year-olds saying 16-year-olds are like, oh, you're such a baby, like... You're like this, you're basically the same. Oh, you wish you knew. And that is today's episode of Roshidere. And you said, you guys said that today was like, not like a hype episode. Today was like a pretty hype episode to me. I guess you guys value more of the, like the plot twist and the crazy shit happening. I really enjoyed. Well, I wish that Alia would have handled this herself, but Kuze stepping in to being cool and de-escalating the situation is pretty cool. Even here in the... The logic behind three birds, one stone blew my mind away. He is just so insanely smart. And before that, 
There was a bit of interest and stuff with the Prez of how he was willing to become Prez just for the girl that he loved. And he did get her. She's a gr she's his girlfriend now. But um, it's the, the vice president that she's on, always in a kendo club. I'm just going to assume that she might be the maid that we see in the opening. But like, we have yet to see her yet. So they're kind of keeping her a secret so far. Aside from that, Alia actually confesses. 100% she says, I love you. But as, you know, Alia says, I love you, and Kuze heard that, right? He understood. He thinks of the flashback with potentially Masha. And again, guys, I one of the things I hate is when fucking monkeys come at me saying like, huh, you're so stupid. It c clearly is Masha. The enemy is telling me this is the same thing with Tensura again with Bilzeba being sacrificed. You retards just don't understand that an implication is not a confirmation. I understand that it's 99.99999% likely that it's Masha, but I'm just telling you that they could come up with some bullshit mechanic to just flip the story on our heads. And knowing the previous episodes, like, they totally could come up with a plot twist. It's gonna be so spicy if that ever happens. She is so soon today, she doesn't want to accept her feelings. And there may have been even a bit of an implication that during this run for student council press that she needs to stay locked in and that she won't really make a move on Kuze. But I just feel like because we're going to be spending so much more time together closely, by the time the elections are there, I wonder if Kuz is going to be able to respond to her. Maybe he'll say in Russian of I love you and it's like, <gasps> whoa, something like that. And also Masha just trying to give her a gentle push or she come for Kuz and that's it for me. If you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content and until next time, take care.